Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Katie. I make stuff vegan. Okay, so boom. Y'all, I've been wanting to try these for a long time, like a very long time, because I be seeing, you know, I'm on the internet. I see the Nigerians eating meat pies. I'm like, that look like pati. I've already made pati on this channel. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna make some Nigerian meat pies. They came out so, so good. And I'm I'm gonna add this to my little repertoire. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm gonna add this to my repertoire. Like, yeah, this is gonna be like a, like a, couple times a year type thing it was so good and like no to jamaica obviously like i'm jamaican american i love making jamaican patties um but you'll see why i feel like these are way more approachable and they were incredibly delicious so if you want to see how i made vegan nigerian meat pies keep on watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe to never miss any of my videos like i said i'm not nigerian so check out some other nigerian creators to see like what they're doing especially if you find like a vegan nigerian creator see how they made their meat pies and also if you are nigerian you're watching this i'm gonna not too much, okay? Like, it came out good, okay? I think, I think I did a pretty good job. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so I'm gonna start by making the filling. I'm gonna take a medium potato, and I know that's kind of like arbitrary, so it's like two cups of potatoes, and I diced them up. The way I diced it up here, I went back and diced it up a smaller, like off camera. I'll show you that size later on because I was thinking about like, you eating your nice little, you know, meat pie or whatever, and you bite into this big old piece of potato, like who wants to do that? You know what I'm saying? So I did cut them smaller, okay? Um, I had some baby carrots lying around. <laughs> so I used those instead of regular carrots. And I was a little on the fence, not like not too much, but I just don't really care for cooked carrots like that. Like, I, I know that's like random, I'd rather a raw carrot with some hummus. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. I, I never have carrots around, but I had these baby carrots, so that's what I'm using it. Honestly, use what you gotta do. Okay, so I'm gonna saute them together. I'm using some olive oil, and there here it is, right? I made them a little bit smaller, and I'm going to saute up all this stuff. Now, I've seen quite a few Nigerians make these, and I think they put their meat in right away. I wanted to make sure that my potatoes were cooked all the way through because I didn't want to trust the process and then I was biting into an apple. Uh, so I sauteed mine for quite a bit of time. I think the recipe says five to seven minutes until, you know, everything was cooked. I'm going in with some impossible, this is, I'm lying, this is beyond me. Um, if you don't like, I wanted to make these last week and I was gonna use mushrooms cause I had mushrooms in the fridge. Uh, but then sometimes when I'm creating another culture's thing, cause like Jamaican culture, you're not gonna tell me what to do, okay? You're not gonna tell me what to do with American culture, you know what I'm saying? Black American culture, you're not gonna tell me. But like when I'm doing another culture's food, I really try to stay as authentic as I can. So I was like, let me wait another week. I'll go to the grocery store. Um, I did use burger patties. You gonna fight me? Because honestly, it's all the same. <laughs> and also I really wanted a patty milk. So I bought burger patties instead, but I used a half pound, okay? But if you're not a fake meat, faux meat type of person, I feel like mushrooms could be a worthwhile thing. Tofu's pushing it, but maybe a little tofu moment. Um, mushrooms, tofu. That's it, actually, because I was gonna say very soy, but then we looped, we spun the block. We might as well use uh, Beyond Meat. But uh, yeah, I went in with a little bit of curry powder, uh, some dry thyme. I broke up a vegan chicken bouillon cube. It is a vegan chicken bouillon cube. I get mine from Whole Foods. If you can't find that, I feel like you could leave it out and just use like salt and you just use like salt or something like that but if you can find it it just adds another flavor dimension and we want to layer flavors you know we want it to be exciting so at this moment oh i i sprinkled in some flour just to like thicken it up and i'm adding a little bit of water and you'll see you'll when you're making this you'll see a difference in the texture like you'll see it go from like being separate there's a word for that but you'll you'll see it go from like being like a little separate or whatever to um coming together like a true filling. And when I tasted that filling, I was like, okay, Nigeria, like literally said that out loud. I was like, period, Nigeria. And I didn't think it was gonna be bad. Like it's literally Nigerian food. It literally is impossible for it to be bad. Like there's no way. But I was like, now we cooking with grease. Like I'm excited, I'm getting excited. Like, ooh, this is about to be so good. Cook carrots and all, you know what I'm saying? So time to make the um, the crust. And this is why I think this recipe is more accessible than making a Jamaica patty. That's not me trying to be offensive, but I just remember like being a little stressed <laughs> when I made the Jamaica patty crust because I think also that's like something I grew up like getting on from a patty shop in Jamaica, you know what I'm saying? 
it's like a common snack food and now I'm trying to make it and so I have a personal connection to it. But I find I found making this crust, I'm like it's it felt like making a pie crust. It felt like making um any turnover crust. So I was like, that's why I'm like, I could add this to my repertoire. And low key, when I make it the next time, I'm put vegan curry chicken in the as a filling. I should film that. I got you. Um, that's what I was thinking when I was making it. I'm, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna make a vegan Jamaican chicken patty, but I'm gonna use this crust, okay? So I took two cups of flour and I took a quarter cup of vegan butter. I like using the country crock vegan butter because it's cheap, it's accessible. I get mine from, I think I got this one from Kroger, but like this at Walmart, it's at the international market, whatever. Now, I should, I end up getting six out of these because I finagled it off camera, but if you wanna make more, you could just double it. But y'all know me, I don't like having leftovers. I actually kinda regret this because you can freeze them. Like when I made those Jamaican pati, I was eating pati for months. I would just take one out when I had no food here because I didn't feel like going to the grocery store. So I wish I made more. But anyway, I put a bunch of filling over it and what I did was when I folded it over, like you can see me here, I'm like pushing it up as I squeeze it so it can go over the filling. You know what I'm saying? Oh, also I'm gonna double back and say, when I was rolling out the crust, I, it might look a little complicated. I rolled it out flat, folded in thirds. Rolled it out flat, folded in thirds, and that was good. Cause that's how you create like the layers of, you know what I'm saying? Flaky, giving very much flakes. Okay, here it is. I crimped it with a uh, fork and they look so pretty. I was like, this is so cute. It looks so good. Um, I'm brushing it with some oat milk. I said plant milk, use whatever plant milk you have. And then I'm gonna hit it with a bit of non-stick spray because we um, don't eat eggs. And I always thought about, oh, what if I use just egg? But just egg, it's really not that serious to me. <laughs> like, I'm gonna use milk, plant milk. Y'all could use just egg. Like, get back to me on how that works out. Cause just egg doesn't, yeah. Anyway, here they are. They are so incredibly beautiful. Look at the filling. Like, I'm gonna show you. First of all, they so flaky and stuff. I was like, ooh, Katie the Baker. And look at the filling. Look at that, right? Right? Y'all, I made these yesterday. We're a little behind, but that's okay. You still rocking with me? Um, I made these yesterday. I made six. I had four of them yesterday. Like, yeah, they are very good. Like I said, it's in my repertoire. Let me know what you think. If you're Nigerian, let me know how I did. Y'all were real nice to me on my Egusi stew and my Suya video. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all were real nice to me, so let's keep it going, okay? Um, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to never miss any of my videos. While you're here, check out my other videos. I named up like three videos, y'all. Go check them out. You know, some of my do. I turn pot every day in my turn of pots, all right? Thank you again. The link is in the description box and I will catch you in the next one. Bye y'all.